Hello everyone. So today let us learn something new in Easy BI. Now let us say you have a report or a dashboard where you have these uh, common pages or these uh, filters on top. For example, if you build a report, you may want the user to change the projects or issue types or whatever fields you have configured, whatever dimension, dimensions you have configured. For example, if I select here Android, this whole dashboard will now show me data from Android project. Now what if you don't want to do it, but you still want uh, your report to focus on just one project. So let me give you one example. If I go to the analyze, and if I go to this particular report, which is called as aggregate uh, status tuple. So basically, if you look in this particular report, we are using data from only one project, which is Android. And let me get rid of this. Let me actually just uh, uh, work on uh, the work on the common filter without using a common filter. So what, what I'll do, I'll probably remove it. So I'll remove the project from here. And I'll also probably remove the issue type. And by the way, right now we have, I guess, uh, oh, let us first verify. So let us first verify the number of uh, issues that we have in uh, maybe Android project. So we have right now 130, 130 projects, 130 issues, not projects in Android uh, based project, not Android based, but Android project only. So let me just remove it. And uh, what I'll do, I will create my own um, measure that will only contain issues from Android. So for that, for, for, for doing that, I need to go to the measure. And then I can go to user defined. And uh, I can actually create a new one define new calculated measure. So let us do that. So Android issues, so we can name it whatever we want. And uh, you can actually use these uh, braces, braces or brackets. I am always confused with the type of uh, the brackets or braces or I think these are brackets. Okay. So <clears throat> what we need to do, we need to use something called uh, the project. And uh, this is of course, something that we can define. So we want only only the Android project. So this is something you know that you can do. Now, let us create it. And uh, let us select this particular uh, project uh, or this particular calculated measure. And uh, this will only give you the issues from Android project. And we'll, we'll, we'll of course verify. We'll of course try to compare it with the number of issues that we had earlier <clears throat> and why it is taking so long. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, now we are done. Let me select a here Android issue or Android issues. I should, have, I should probably rename it. And now we have only 30, 30 issues, right? This is wonderful. And we, we don't really have those common filters on top. Now, what if you only want uh, open issues? And again, for doing that, I will probably bring in my status here. Where is my status? Come on, I can't find my status. Yes, uh, we have the status here on the oh, So let us not worry about the status. Uh, because we already have the priorities. But what if you only want uh, box? So let us use issue type here and verify how many uh, bugs we have. So if I select bug here, we have 22 bugs, right? So this is the number. So let me just remove it. And uh, now we are back to 130. And uh, let us go to the measure again. And uh, let us go to the Android issues or rather I should say Android bugs. And what I can do here is now I can then use something like issue type, which is of course listed here. And then I can select here uh, bug, right? This is all you need to do, by the way, and update. And this is the number. So this is of course wonderful because uh, you, what we are doing here is we are actually uh, defining within our report using this calculated measure that we only want to focus on, I mean, we, we don't really have, I mean, if, if you present this to your, uh, I don't know, your manager, stakeholders, they will see this information, but they won't be able to modify anything. Something, sometimes you need that ability where uh, people cannot really mess with the reports. Uh, although they can, of course, now, if I, I think this is already saved, although they can definitely play with it because it is nothing but a report you can actually uh, create something like, a, I, I don't know, maybe some kind of a report, uh, maybe a graphical report, or maybe just a, 
tabular report, but um, they won't be able to mess it up even if they want because you are limiting what they want to see. So there are no filters here on, here on top. Now what maybe we can do is we can actually use this option here called hide empty, hide empty rows and columns so that uh, this particular report looks neat, a bit neat, so that you know, those empty rows or empty columns are not really going to appear at all. And this looks of course wonderful. So a simple thing, simple report but really useful and uh, that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.